Things in the world, the bronze. The CIA Director General Michael Hayden, we didn't have time for this one last night. It was from Meet the Press on Sunday, his proud announcement. The torture is just a legal term. And this priceless quotation, we have not waterboarded anyone in now over five years. Wow, that long, huh? That's like seeing one of those boastful safety first signs at a factory somewhere. Accident free for six days. Runners up, Steve Ducey and Gretchen Carlson of Fixed News, blasting Democratic Chair Howard Dean, claiming Dean had said new McCain ads referencing McCain's time as a POW in the Hanoi Hilton were, and I'm quoting Ducey, quoting Dean, blatant opportunism. Carlson, the minor bird on the show, then said, he called him a blatant opportunist. Actually, Dean issued a statement after McCain's so-called policy speeches about Iraq and the economy last week, the ones that were startlingly free of any policy, in which he said, Dean did, while we honor McCain's military service, the fact is Americans want a real leader who offers real solutions, not a blatant opportunist who doesn't understand the economy and is promising to keep our troops in Iraq for 100 years. No reference to the ads, no reference to his time as a POW, no reference to the Hanoi Hilton, but otherwise, Ducey and Carlson were, as usual, right on the money. But I must congratulate both of them for finding their office every day. The challenge that must represent to them, I can't imagine. But our winner, comedian Rush Limbaugh. You will recall his Operation Chaos. No, not a reference to his doctor shopping. This was when he told Republicans in Mississippi to cross over and vote for Senator Clinton in the Democratic primary last month. Comedian never mentioned. He didn't know, he didn't care, he just wasn't conscious at the time, we don't know that Mississippi Republicans who did cross over in the primary could not then vote in next week's special Republican primary runoff for Congress in the state's first district. And that may wind up costing the more conservative of the two Republican candidates as many as 3,000 votes, and that figures to be enough to give his more moderate rival the Republican nomination. It gets worse. One of the Democrats running for the seat in the Mississippi first is considered more conservative than 85% of the Republicans in the state. Meaning, Rush Limbaugh's big mouth may get a Democrat elected to Congress. Comedian Rush hoist on his own petard Limbaugh. Today's worst person in the world.